welcome back to State of Decay 2. Um, so, after a very long 20 gigabyte update that I had to do, I struggled through it. Oh god, something just happened there. Um, some sort of like little loading screen thing. So, we're back with some lovely bases. I've driven in the wrong, the wrong area, but it's fine. Absolutely brilliant. <laughs> and then people like me will complain that the game's broken, when in fact it's just me being dreadful at it. So, we are here at the church on the, hi church on the hill. Church on the hill, sure. Church on the hill, which I think is actually what it might be called. I'm just trying to clear out some of these. With some, like, sick fucking moves. Right, I think it's just going to be easier for me to get out and deal with these. I apologise, there's always fucking zombies. Zed's got nothing on oh. me. For God's sake, in a world with zombies, can we just have one location that's just empty, completely empty? Come here. There we go, right. Now, here we go. Church on the Hill, it is actually called Church on the Hill. We shall call it Hilltop, because why not? All of the Walking Dead references. So this, this is actually one of my favourite locations. Now... I like a lot of places here in Cascade Hills, but this is a really, really good spot. Um, my only issue is that it doesn't use a lot of the space very well. I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> Pardon me. Uh, so let's take a look. So you get a bell tower, which I think acts as a watchtower. You get four parking spots, which is really, really good. And you get two sets of clearable pews. Uh, one large slot, one small indoor slot, and two small outdoor slots. Uh, don't forget, oh shit, my people are starving, don't forget my people are starving, um, don't forget that those open slots, you also get the existing facilities, the pews that are clearable, they go into that as well once you've cleared them. Um, I think they might be too large indoor, if we go take a look, so you've got two small outdoor right here, they're in actually pretty good locations, you could probably set up like a watchtower on one of them which would look cool. Um, I'm trying to think of what I would actually put here. Maybe a workshop, seeing as it's outside. Um, but the inside is where this place shines, Sweet because it's just such a nice building. <laughs> um, so you, by default, get these little areas. Oh, so it looks like those two are going to be small, small indoor clearable slots. Which is fine. Those work too, so you're getting a lot of small slots with this place. Um, I'm pretty certain there was a large indoor one somewhere. Maybe there weren't. I'm going to kill these. So that's your uh, command centre that we saw back there. I believe that this area just is decoration. And that's my issue. There's a lot of there's a lot of area on this church for decoration, which is annoying for me. <laughs> I hate it when they don't use space properly. I swear I just saw an arm pop through that wall. So, I mean, it's not a bad little area. What is this? Is this storage? It looks like storage. So it comes with some built-in storage, which I suppose is okay. And then that's another another way round into the command center. There's another... F oh, it's fine. It's a crawler. <laughs> so your large slot must... Oh, I think it's outside uh, the the uh, the left-hand side from when you're facing the church. We'll go have a look. I think it's here. Yes. So this is perfect for a farm, obviously. Um, I'm trying to think of what other large areas you can even have. Maybe like a sniper tower if you're going for a builder, a builder build, a, bi a builder playthrough, which I am considering doing at some stage. Um, I don't know, there's just so much room in this place, and I don't feel like there's enough built in facilities. There's a lot more that they could have added to this place, even if they'd boosted up the influence to like 2000 or 2500 or whatever. You could have some built in watchtowers on that corner. You could have like a built-in area here, um, I mean you've got a buildable area here already, but there's like the gazebo over there that you could do some stuff with. There's so many places that you could use and it's just frustrating for me. Um, but this is a really really nice base, I do really really like it despite me being annoyed by the fact that they've not used space properly. Um, there's a lot of other bases on this map that I also like where space is perfect. Um, which we'll get to very, very soon. Um, but yeah, this is the church on the hill. It's alright. Um, so you require 
five people and a thousand influence and you can see that we went through the facilities that you get and what you don't get and we've had a little look inside in terms of the location of it on the actual map it's really really good it's central which is good for Cascade Hills because it's not as scattered it's not like as scattered as the plateau but it is pretty scattered still um, but this area here in the middle is pretty fucking it's pretty f a good place to be um, you could set up a couple of outposts scattered along this main road um, you could take over the town quite easily with uh, with some outposts I think um, oh no I got mine down at the bottom there Oh, but people are talking. Go away. Uh, there's like some power things up here. I think, yeah, there's one. There's a power substation that you could take over. Um, so yeah, maybe with power and water, then this place might be okay. Um, as long as you can deal with the fact that there's going to be a lot of empty space. Oh my god. Where is that one coming from? I can hear it, I just can't see it. Go away, oh no it's coming, for fuck's That's sake. This might be the same issue as the campsite from the valley, um, you might get attacked quite a lot here, so, you know, you might not get a lucky a lucky draw if you come here, pre-warning, you might get a lot of hordes, a lot of specials and what have you. Uh, so yeah, that was a little preview of the Church on the Hill base, the potential home site. We will be exploring the rest of the Cascade Hill bases as we continue through. And then maybe, maybe at the end, um, I might list them all from like my least favourite up to my favourite. I don't know. I don't know. It's difficult for me to do because I've not lived everywhere yet. But I will think about it and uh, take it into consideration. But thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If it was informational at all, please do leave a like, a, a lovely thumbs up, up my bottom, and uh, feel free to subscribe to keep up to date with them all. I'm almost done. We've got like four more to do, I think, four or five more. Uh, I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.